Sagar took his new car for servicing. Sagar was interested in the machines and their functioning, so he waited and watched the process. He placed his car on a platform. An engineer went into a room and pushed a lever with his foot and the platform suddenly rose with the car. He was astonished to see this and asked the engineer how he did that. Are you equally excited to know what happened? Let's see what the engineer said. The engineer said that this is the application of Pascal's law. Let's see what that means. Two cylinders are underground and both are filled with a hydraulic fluid. One of them is a narrow cylinder beneath the engineer's room and another one is a wider cylinder beneath the car. Observe that cylinder P has a piston attached to the lever and cylinder Q has a piston attached to the car platform. It connects the two cylinders at the base through a pipe. A valve is present in this pipe. When the lever is pushed, the valve opens because of the pressure in the fluid. The liquid rushes from cylinder P to cylinder Q. This results in a rise in the liquid's level in cylinder Q which pushes the car platform along with it. When the car has reached the desired height, the lever is no longer pushed. Now, the valve is closed so the liquid does not flow back to cylinder P. That's how hydraulic machines work. The term hydraulic itself means a liquid moving in a confined space under pressure. Another interesting thing about these machines is that the work done while pushing the lever is equal to the work done pushing the car up. But the distance covered by the effort is much more than the distance covered by the load. This is because the effort is much smaller. So the force is small and hence displacement must be large so that the work done matches with the work of lifting the heavy load. So the next time you go to the car garage, you know how the car is lifted just by pressing the lever. Now Sagar's car is ready and he is driving back home. You return to your class and continue the lesson.